Hey, I'm Mary Larimore. We're standing in front of the Azire Learning Center. I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to build something really nifty, a wall display sign that can give you a biography or a website of an individual you want your customers or your patrons or yourself <laughs> to be able to get a hold of. Let me show you. This is the Azire Learning Center. It's been around since 2009, but recently we've been remodeling. So you can see that the walls are kind of empty. I'm going to scroll around and give you vertigo. Oh, not too much in here at the moment. And now you can see the wall of my library. It's not quite finished, still remodeling. We have nine folks over here who I want people to know about and six over here who I want people to know about. So I'm going to be making a new one for over here. And because I'm interested in um, the scientific study of psychic phenomena, this wall basically is a gallery of important contribution contributors to that science. So what I'm doing is putting up on this wall the vi visual representation and some information about a bunch of people. And then if you click on it, it takes you in and shows you something wonderful like their biography or uh, the home page at their university or something else. So now I'm going to go right in on this guy. Now that I've zoomed in, you can see here that we've got pictures and a little bit of information about the various people who I want my patrons and my learning center to know about. You've got a frame around your display and you've got a nice a uh, little image in the middle that shows the face and all that stuff and then you can click on it and it's going to show you information about the person. So let me click and you see a little box comes up and it says load web page and it tells you what that web page is about <coughs> and it asks you if you want to go to the page and if you click go to the page it takes you out to your web browser and you see that you've got a biography of that individual. So what you're going to need to build something like this for your <coughs> library is a prim, a frame wizard, a way to make an image, and a script that allows you to go out and give the people who click on it a URL. So let's get started first thing I'm going to do is build a prim. And you can click on the build menu <coughs> or you can do control plus four and it brings up the create tool. Now we're going to take a box and drop it on the floor. I know from experience that I would like this box to have a particular size, but I'm going to show you how I double check that. I'm going over here to click on one of my wall art and it shows me I need 0.5, 1.5, and 0.15. That's the size that I want. So now I'm going to click over here. I leave the X value at 0.5. I make the Y value 1.5 <coughs> and the Z value 0.15. And that gives me the size of a box that I want. I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to give it a name for the person that I'm using. This display box is going to be information about a psychologist from Argentina who's called Alejandro Parra. So I named the box after him and I want to so show it in search so if anybody's searching for him they'll find out. They'll find this information. Then I go to the texture bar and I click on texture and I change it to blank and I say OK and then I click it to full bright because I want to have it display really clearly. Now the next thing I need to do is load up the frame wizard scri script into my prim. I will give you in the um, description the SURL to Crystal Gadgets and the uh, URL to the Crystal Gadgets website so that you can get your own copy of frame wizard. It's a pretty nifty tool. Now I'm going to close down the editing box and when I click on it you see now I've got a little finger here. Hold on a second. Now I've closed it. <coughs> I've closed the edit box because I put my frame wizard into content and I just dragged it and dropped it. 
oops, it doesn't seem to be there. Oh no, there it is, see? And I get a little hand. So I'm going to left click because the little hand is there. And this is coming up from the Frame Wizard script. It allows me to apply a frame. And there's my border. I can also click again and I can change the color of the border if I want. Right now I think it's birch. No, it wasn't birch. Okay. Uh, let's see what else it could be. It could be cork. It could be cherry. <coughs> That's what I was using. And now that I like my frame, <coughs> I'm going to click again. And I'm going to say commit all. And what commit all does is it makes your frame permanent and it removes the frame wizard from the content area. So now if I click edit, I'm right clicking and getting the edit tool and I'm going to content. Oh, the frame wizard is all gone, which is exactly what we wanted to have happen. Now I'm back on the general and I've clicked on move and I'm going to pull it up out of the floor so that I can then make my image and put it onto my my guy here. So first let me go out and show you what I'm doing to get an image. I've opened up my PowerPoint program and I have a PowerPoint called Wall Signs 2013. So I organize my info by keeping a uh, area on my desk desktop or in my sky cloud that's called Images for a Second Life. And you can see I've got all these different ones that I've put together. So now I want to get Alejandro's picture and put it on the slide. Whoop, there he is. And I want to move it up to the top of the slide, make it a little bigger, and then I'm going to insert a text box <coughs> underneath that gives his information. So I've put down, oop, I'm going to move this back and center it underneath and you can see that little red line appears when I'm centering. And then I'm going to center his information and that's the name of his university in Buenos Aires. And I'm going to save that. And then that saves him into my wall signs. Now I want to save that individual slide as a ping. <laughs> There's my pictures, illustrations I have for videos in SL, and I'm going to save Alejandro's picture as a ping file, and I'm going to call it Alejandro, whoop, Alejandro Para, and click save and just this slide <coughs> and then I'm going to close this up. Now the next thing I want to do is edit it. Hold on a sec. Now I'm going to use my free uh, photo editing software called paint.net and the information for that is also in the description and I'm going to call up that ping that I saved and you can see here it is just a little Alejandro Barra. So I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to use tools to make a rectangle. <coughs> That's a little bit big on that side, so I'm going to go this way, get it a little bit closer. And I'm going to crop that to the image. And then I'm going to save it. close my paint.net <coughs> and now I'm going to go to my inventory and I'm going to upload it. And I'm uploading an image. Whoop, and there it 
is. It's actually a little wide. Hmm. I think that'll be okay. And then I'm going to bring it up. He has a big university name. And now it's uploaded. And it's going to show me, it's going to take me right to the textures where that is. And I'm going to drag this from my <coughs> inventory. Put it on here. Now I've got to make some edits in the way the texture appears. So I'm going to go to texture. And you'll see it's got three, oof, as the vertical scale. I just want it to show as a one. So one per meter on horizontal and vertical, and then I get what I need. Now the next thing I need to do <coughs> is put in a script that takes people out to his, um, to his biography or his homepage. So hold on a second, I'll show you how to do that. Now I'm going to come out to this really great website that was put together by Hillary Mason, who's a, who's a professor of computer sciences. It's called www.3greeneggsaltogether.com backslash autoscript backslash. And that gives you this area. Now this is a site that helps you create scripts for Second Life objects. So you just say what you want it to do. So in this one, we want to prompt an avatar to load a URL in a web browser. So first I want to find my URL. And I'm looking for a biography <coughs> of Alejandro Parra. <coughs> ah, this is his website. So I'm going to click here. <coughs> Whoop. I'm going to copy this page. And I'm going to put it in here. And then I'm going to say Alejandro oop, Para's <coughs> biography. And then, what do you want to have happen? And I want it as soon as my avatar touches my object. Whoop, then I want them to get what I'm giving them. Thing. You have lots of options. You can res an object, give something to the avatar, you can do a whole bunch of different things. And then you can say when you want it to happen. So now I click Make My Script. And here's my script. Now I'm going to move this over so you can see what I'm doing here. Way out of the frame. I'm going to open this guy up and I'm hitting Edit again. And I'm going to click on New Script. <coughs> And the new script just takes the name of the object and says, Hello, Avatar. Now let me move this new script down a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out that script by highlighting it and clicking, clicking Delete. Whoop, go back to my web page. And I'm going to copy this script to Control-C. And I'm going to come back in here and do Control-V. And now I've got my script. And I click Save. And I hang around. And then it says Save Complete. Now I close up the script. <coughs> and I close up my editing frame. And now when I touch it, you see I get that little hand? So I'm going to click that. And I'm going to show you what it shows me. It says Load Web Page. Alejandro Parra's biography from object Alejandro Parra, and I own it, and up it comes. And this is the biography that we wanted to be able to have the folks who click on the screen see. So we're going to close those tabs. <coughs> now he's all set. Okay, so now what we need to do is pick him up and put him over on that other wall. I can walk over here to put him up on the wall. <coughs> I click on Recent, and then I click on Objects, and here he is. And now I'm going to drag him and put him on the wall. Now you see that I think I didn't do those dimensions quite correctly. So first I'm going to move, move this forward, and then I'm going to take a look again here and see what my dimensions are. It's 0.9, 1.5, and 0.01. Oh, okay. So I'm going to 
get back in here, and we have point nine. We want point nine, one point five, and o one o. So we're okay there. And then we're going to move him kind of back. Oh, too far onto this wall. I want to get him in the middle of the guy on top, and then I want to get him down, and then I'm going to walk over to the side so I can see how far away he is. <coughs> you can also do this by getting the x value of your wall, but I'm kind of, I like to do these things one at a time. Okay, and once you've got these up, people can come in and browse and take a look and see what's up and find out about people in your field. So that's all. Thank you so much for listening. Bye now.